Uh, YouTube Shorts specifically is now out of beta. So all US users can use their Shorts creation tool. As I keep saying every time I talk about Shorts because someone gets confused every time. Uh, shorts are just a video with a hashtag on it, basically. So a vertical video, less than 60 seconds in length, that have hashtag shorts in the title or description. Anyone can make and upload them just as a normal video, and they will end up in the shorts shelf here on the homepage for mobile users. But the app specifically, which was a TikTok clone app, was only available in India until it rolled out in beta recently and is now available for everybody. So it's now out of beta. You're going to see a lot more of them. They've been tweaking notifications and things like that to make them a little bit less... Uh, abrasive to desktop users. However, they still have not made the switch that I think is required for this to really work to treat shorts as a different content type. Currently, if you go to your YouTube manager, there's videos, there's live posts, there's uh, community posts, and there's stories. They need to make shorts their own type of posts so that people like me who actually enjoy the short form format, I have like 17k followers on TikTok because I've been having fun with it. I'd love to keep posting more here with shorts, but I don't want to assault my viewers who are on desktop and who don't like shorts with them by treating them as normal videos. That's not a win-win for creators. I think this is especially important considering the next piece of news. The next piece of news being that YouTube is rolling out a YouTube shorts fund, which uh, resembles... The TikTok Creator Fund. They are investing $100 million to distribute over the course of 2021 to 2022. And every month they're going to contact thousands of creators and give them a little cash and celebrate their work here on Shorts. Anyone is eligible to participate in basically just by creating Shorts that delight the YouTube community. Whatever that means. Um, but an important note here is in order to earn the funds from this YouTube Shorts Fund... You do not need to be in the YouTube Partner Program, which is very exciting. So, pretty cool regardless, uh, but hopefully we see some good momentum happen with this and they actually change some of the things that we really need changed in order for this to be a viable format for established creators to use. Now, you can start out your own shorts channel, and I have my own uh, secondary channel here that you can check out that has both highlights here from Streamer News in case you miss an episode or just want to hear a specific story, as well as shorts that I feel are worth saving from TikTok. It's called Stream Guides. I will link it in the chat. And like I said, it just has highlights from Streamer News. It has shorts. It has lots of just extra little tidbits, so you can check that out if you like. But realistically, if you want creators who have established channels posting that to, the, to their audiences and putting in the work... They need to work with creators to make the format something that isn't going to burn their viewers because currently that's how it's set up and it's pretty frustrating. One last piece of YouTube news here. Uh, they have finally released sub-only chat for streamers and gaming creators where you can restrict it to subscribers only. Uh, and I believe you can actually tweak how long a sub has to have been subbed in order to be able to send the message, which is pretty neat. This is one of many features that have been requested that uh, will help bring... YouTube up to par with Twitch in terms of certain features and things like that. I've been talking about that a lot because a lot of people have been just completely frustrated with the state of Twitch and the things that they are doing over on Twitch. Um, and this is them, and a lot of those creators are starting to switch to YouTube for certain things. And so the more of these updates and improvements that they bring to YouTube streaming, the more that's going to be viable for people. I will say, however, that YouTube needs to implement a lot more moderation tools for the live chat. We actually run into this during our streamer news shows. There aren't enough live chat moderation tools. And in fact, in recent streams, it feels like they've either like restricted the number of tools or nerfed them somehow. And I'm not really sure how or why, uh, but they definitely need to work on that a little bit. 